Two local kids are taking the skateboarding world by storm. They are loaded with sponsorships. They're becoming stars, and they're both under the age of 10. Q13 Fox News reporter Bill Wixie with this dizzying success story. This Bothell neighborhood is getting used to this. The house on the corner has a skate park in the backyard. And the owner is a nine-year-old superstar. Skylar Siljic is the Northwest top skateboarder under the age of 10. And the title has perks from his sponsors. Yeah, his sponsors. Yeah, they give me stickers and to give out. And, uh, they made autograph sheets for me. Oh yeah, he signs autographs, and he gets a lot more than stickers. He gets helmets from Predator, boards from Lift Technologies, and clothes from Quicksilver. When Skyler's first sponsor, Joan Soda, approached me and asked about his skating and asked me if he had a sponsor, I thought it was like a joke, or he was five. No joke. Seattle-based Joan Soda sponsors a lot of what they call emerging athletes. We just provide them a product, and they became real ambassadors for the brand. Joan Soda Company's motto is run with the little guy. That's exactly what they want to do, hook up with these great young athletes so that everyone will think they're hip and young and cool. Six-year-old Mitchie Brusco is also sponsored by Jones. He's appeared in People magazine. He just negotiated his first paid sponsorship deal with Lego. And next month, he'll enter kindergarten. We had a little athlete on our hands. We're just trying to protect him as best as we can. But are sponsors and parents doing enough to protect these kids? That's what has some experts concerned. But they say there's no way to tell because this phenomenon is so new. Skyler and Mitch have got a roll in Boston. Bill Wixie, Q13 Fox News. Wow, I couldn't even find my shoes when I was that age. <laughs> Both skaters get about 12 cases of soda a month, along with boxes of clothing, backpacks, equipment, supplies. Mitchie's parents would not divulge how much his contract with Legos is worth. You might have found him if you had all those perks. If I had all those perks, I'd have a lot more today, wouldn't I? Well, that brings us to our Q13 Fox question of the night tonight. You think child athletes should get big corporate sponsorships? Cast your vote on our website, Q13.com. We'll have results for you coming up later in the newscast. <laughs> wow, amazing. Those, Those are a cool are little dudes. Yeah, they really are. <laughs> like, what a future ahead of them. I know. I say, let them get the money. Show them the We're money. All with you. We're all with you there. Say it louder. Show. No, 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 no. Albert shows us they've caught the attention of corporate sponsors, too. Mitchie Brusco has his day cut out. In the morning, he heads off to kindergarten. After school, he practices. This is broke, too, so I have to be careful. He's loved this sport most of his life. How long have you been, have you been skating on the skateboard? Uh, three years. Three years? So since you were three? His buddies already consider Mitchie a pro. And just like grown-up pros, he has sponsors. It's pure fun for him, you know? We don't want to make it a job, but it's not a job for him. Mitchie's parents tell me there's no cash involved. Their son okay. just gets tons of product, and the All only right. requirement, he has to drink, wear, or skate on what his sponsors give him. I think the whole thing with skateboarding as a whole, if no one would send him anything, if, it, it, you know, no boxes would show up to there, he'd be out here skating every day. The skating world has also tagged nine-year-old Skyler Siljag as a pro, and he's been at it since he was a toddler. My older brother skated, and I don't know, when I was like 15 months old, I, I took his board from him, and I started doing little manuals and stuff. Skyler's proud mom, Pam, is thankful for the sponsors. He's surrounded by people that are being really supportive and stuff. And as a single mom, uh, when somebody says they want to put shoes on your kid every month and clothes on them, and I'm saying, yeah. Skyler's also willing to share his knowledge with those right. of us just starting out. I'm not sure this is a very good idea. Ready? Ready. We have to go really slowly, though. Okay. Okay. Ready? You have to say go. Set. Go. Yeah, fortunately, we don't have the video to show you what happened next, but I think it's safe to say that I'm not quite sponsorship material. Skyler loves the freebies, but when there's too many cases of soda or more shoes than he can wear, Skyler calls his friends. I give it away. And so does little Mitchie. Just make sure you check the label if he offers you a drink. I don't know what flavor is it. 
you can't read. Brian Calvert, Como 4 News. Uh, I don't know. I'll just stick to the fact that skateboards have come a long way since back in my day. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think we could all say that. And I can relate with yes. Brian going very slow up the little bit. Yeah, boy, wouldn't we like to just stand and think about skateboards today? There's so much else going on. There is. In fact, in front of me here, I have the newest flood information.